And the strongest storm of the season is expected to hit California this weekend. Heavy rains began drenching the state Thursday and Friday. That's expected to cause rapid flash floods and mudslides. Up to 10 feet of snow is also expected to fall in the state's mountain regions. For more on all this, I want to bring in CBS News contributing meteorologist Jeff Baradelli. Jeff, great to see you again. Great to be here. So where is all of this headed? This is a really big storm, and it's moving in right now as we speak. Basically, the whole coastline of California is going to be under the gun overnight tonight. The worst of it is going to be tonight and tomorrow morning, and then the system will move east. But they're going to be seeing unsettled weather Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, wow. it's probably going to end on Tuesday night. So this is going to be a storm that's going to last a while. And I would say this is the strongest storm of the winter so and far. And it's really all along the coast of California, isn't it? It's a huge storm, and it's being fueled by very warm Pacific Ocean waters. We have an El Nino-like situation in the Pacific. We have a wicked jet stream in the upper levels. This is going to be uh, really a, a, a very... I would say humdinger dinger of a storm tonight. I was going to use that word, but it's yeah. such an old word. That, yeah, no, but nevertheless, that it, it really it, is that kind of storm. It qualifies. How yeah. many inches of rain is expected? Uh, it looks like we're probably going to end up seeing, you know, generally speaking, two, three inches of rain. Some places are likely to see, I think, as much as uh, four inches of rain. You can see as the storm moves on shore, it's got that classic kind of textbook swirl. Flash flooding is possible. Wind gusts to hurricane force, uh, especially the hills along the coastline. Mudslides are possible as the storm moves on shore. Poor California, I feel like it is just keeps getting battered. Is this unusual to happen along the entire coast of California? So here's the deal. It's an El Nino-like year. So this is the year they're going to get hit hard. This has been happening over the past couple of decades now. And it's typical. El Ninos usually are worse in California. Then they don't get much of anything for four or five years. So they end up with these extreme weather years with extreme rain and extreme snowpack and snowfall. And then not much of anything and a big drought for four or five years. That creates problems. It, it, it actually can, can make fires worse, wildfires worse. What about the snow? You mentioned snow is expected. How many inches of snow in the mountainous regions? A lot of snow. Uh, we're looking at, generally speaking, three to six feet of snow. I think some places could get as much as 10 feet. And that's wow. not just my prediction. That's actually coming straight from the National Weather Service in Sacramento saying as much as 10 feet of snow. You know, the ski resorts want snow. They love snow. This may actually be too much because people won't be able to get there. Well, right. 60 and mile also, an wind the goes. strong winds don't help with the skiing, right? I mean, a lot of snow is great if you're, if you're skiing, but those winds aren't great. And the winds will be strong, not just at the ski resorts, but all the way to the coast. In fact, we have a graphic. We'll show you of the winds. There's going to be a squall line that comes through tonight. And notice that little eye beginning to form. See that arrow on the left side of the screen? A little eye, almost like a hurricane type oh, yeah. eye. They give you an idea yeah. of how, how intense the system is. And the winds are going to gust along the coast easily to 50 and 60 miles an hour. Again, a hurricane force wind gusts can't be ruled out. And notice the mountains, too, in the Sierra Nevada. They also have those very strong gusty winds. So well. how long can we expect this to last? I mean, with that eye coming into the coast, it doesn't look like it's going to be over anytime soon. That's just shot number one. There's another one that comes in on Sunday. And then there's little pieces of energy that move through Monday into Tuesday uh, and into Wednesday. So, again, real strong winds tonight, flooding, flash flooding is a possibility, and then unbelievable snow. We're going to see some pictures out of the Sierra Nevada that are going to be amazing over the next few days. So the storm system is not expected to be fully passing California until about the end until of the week? At least until Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, the strongest part is tonight and tomorrow. Right. It progressively gets weaker through Tuesday, but it's not completely gone until Tuesday night. Or so. All right. Well, we yeah. hope everyone in California there stays safe. Absolutely. Jeff Ferradelli, thank you so much for that.